tell you it's all gone. You all remember that view, that's where the milk factory used to be. Well, today we're having a bit of a celebration here. It's been exactly one year since we cut the cord properly. Um, so there's no power, so it's been exactly one year since we've been off grid and uh, running the house on its own power. Oh, there's Mr. Choppy Dogs. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, in that one year, um, of course we were running the house off route before then, but um, I'm like, I was like a few people um, and didn't want to cut the cord because I was still supporting Western Power. We were still selling electricity. It's a pretty dull day today, isn't it? But it is early in the morning. Choppy's got me out of bed at 6.30 because he had to go to the toilet. Um, and everything in the shed runs absolutely beautiful and since I've been off, off grid nothing, uh, I haven't even blown a light globe uh, because of the power fluctuations are nothing <coughs> compared to the grid system here in this town or what the grid system was here in this town Um, I've helped a lot of people go off grid successfully and I've helped a, a, a lot of people put in um, off grid systems but um, they're, they're smaller systems and they're mainly uh, they run off their solar and that during the day they don't sell the electricity because let's face it why would you uh, sell the government your electricity at six cents or seven cents um, for most people and then have to buy it back for between 27 and 47 cents a kilowatt hour um, so you're better off to bank your power during the day your solar power bank your excess use it and if you've got a um, a little hybrid system then when your batteries get to a certain level um, it'll, it'll go back to the grid whereas mine's fully off grid system so yeah one year um, we're gonna celebrate well we've already been celebrating uh, the money we saved from electricity this year we went and bought a new car um, well, it's more than this year, but this year and a bit bit of the year before. But, and we just went and bought a new car. That should be here soon. It's getting all the optional extras fitted right now. Window tinning, bull bar, research. Um, oh, goodness. A few other things that's getting fitted. So, yeah. The computer is working absolutely brilliantly. Uh, even on the really hot days, and we had a hot day yesterday where it was 35 degrees Celsius in the shade. Um, I don't know what it was in the sun, but that's our little electronic temperature sensor just there. Uh, and that's under the eaves, under the veranda, so it's in the shade. And it was... 35 in the shade um, Yeah, everything's just been going absolutely tops in here This computer is brilliant So far so good So far so good Alright, I'll take it in and show you some changes to the program um, People keep asking me, when's it for sale? When's it for sale? Very soon very very soon all right 
The programs uh, will be on the market very, very, very soon. Uh, what is the time, by the way? There we go, just gone seven. Tell you what, it's a good feeling when you're providing your own power and you've got a system that works really, really well. Uh, every now and then I get people listening to me, oh, my system's better than yours, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, it might be. And then you go and you look at their site and they've got two pissy little batteries and a couple of little solar panels and you're going, yeah, okay, now take that off grid. Um, or they've got um, a little tiny power wall. And really, if your system's good and you believe in your system, the wire is still connected to the grid. This is what I can't understand. And it took us, I've been building this system probably six years, and it took us five years to get it to the stage where we could take it off grid. And then when I got the, the new batteries that I was saving up for, wow, we just haven't never looked back. Never looked back. Um, remember to click on, on my YouTube page there and, and in the top there's a link to my live view which is live 24-7, shows my house power use what's on, uh, if it's charging or we're just using power. Alright, I'm going to take his inside now and um, we'll have a look at the program and see how the year's been. Alright. Good morning again everybody. Alright, here we are inside. It's a bit of a celebration day today. It is early in the morning, 7.15. Um, went and made myself a coffee, lovely coffee here. Ah, beautiful, a lovely morning coffee. Um, now when you go to um, the live view, just go to my YouTube channel. There it is there. And you can see that link right there. Off Grid Systems Live View. If you click on that, it'll open another page and take you to my off-grid systems live view. Now, providing um, my NBN's working, that will be online 24-7. And you can also see roughly, um, this weather's not 100% accurate because that's Bunbury, that's the nearest city to me, whereas I'm uh, quite a ways from that. But you can see the temperature and we've got it in Celsius and Fahrenheit because I know I've got a lot of American viewers um, so we do that and you can see my state of charge of the batteries my live solar watts and my live house watts and if you click the um, information icon there you can see what the Midnight Classic 1 Midnight Classic 2 is doing and I like the way Jeremy made it darker for two so you can actually tell that there's been a change. That was good. You can also see what the inverters are doing. Okay. And you can see how much power the hybrid is doing. Now the hybrid is uh, my backup inverter so it's inverters turned off until it's needed. Alright. Now, um, systems live view, we've made a, like I say, Jeremy's made a few changes. Um, let me see where it is. There it is there. Uh, first of all, he's made it more easy to read um, for the uh, visually impaired and whatnot. So he's just used base colours, black, white, red. Uh, let's go into program settings. And he's made this easier because some people said, oh, that looks a bit complicated to set up. Um, so we've tried to make it easier, okay? Let's go into charge controllers. And you can see there, basically all you do is put tick boxes and put in their local IP, okay? All right, now I don't have a PCM60X in there. 
and I don't have the Victrons on there, uh, the Victron controller on, on there right now. But that will do, uh, I think that will do all of the Victron controllers right there. Okay, um, let's go back. And you have the inverters. And of course I have the, uh, the, the, the first main. Okay, now this second box, now some of these have two phase systems. Well, in here in Australia, some of the houses have two phase. Okay, and then some have three phase. So we've done this for the two phase systems. So they can put in their first IPS, and that's on COM3. That's the one with the um, computer wire in it. And then if you've got a two phase, you can put your second one on your second phase, tick that box, and you'll know what both phases are doing. Okay, uh, then you've got the hybrids. Okay, I've got the Voltronics Infini um, 5, okay, on COM4. Uh, then we've got battery monitors. Um, the uh, Midnight Classic's got the battery monitor in it, in it so that comes under um, charge controllers. But for the standalone uh, battery monitors, We've just got the Victron uh, BMV 700 series in there. Then we've got, uh, now this, this part of the program selects what's your, what's your main power source and uh, what's your, which state of charge meter you're going off, okay? So, because uh, my house is powered by the MPP uh, PIP 4048s or Giant Power IPS 4000s or yeah they've got a few names so that's what mine's set up for uh, Systems App okay you name your system you can enable an auto warning um, you can enable it to auto start when you start your system, it's pretty good. Jeremy's put a lot of work into this. Uh, remote systems logging. Now this is what logs rem automatically onto that live site I told you, uh, showed you earlier on. Okay, uh, you just again, it's just tick boxes. Uh, on peak, off peak. <laughs> let's have a look at this so if you've got one of those uh, hybrid systems I was telling you about and you want to just run your system during peak power that's when they're charging you 42 to 47 cents in Australia um, you can set your, your minutes and hours on minute and hour off and uh, that's simply by just drop down boxes okay All right, and you just set set your settings up, then you save them, and you're good to go. I don't do that, so we won't worry about saving any of that. Um, and then you got your weather settings, and uh, for me, I just pick my closest city and country, and that's it. That's it. That's the changes he's made. Um, um, for the people that said it was looked a bit too complicated for them uh, soon I'll have some more inverters coming but we've got other stuff to do and we're, we're waiting for our new ute um, we're waiting on um, uh, we're getting ready for our uh, pre-Christmas barbecue on the 23rd that's we do that every year and um, invite people and have a good day with them, spend the day and just have lots of food and lots of really good conversations. Uh, it's, it's been interesting, it's been interesting with the clouds. I think the other day, two or three days ago, we didn't get full, we got to 95, 96% we got to. But other than that, um, the system has been running really well. Uh, battery information. 
There it is there. As you can see, we dropped down to only 87% last night. Already up to 89. Um, night, day before. 85%. We got full. It must have been the day before that. Hang on. Come on, let me click on this. That's that. That's seventh. No. Oh, it might have been a week ago. You get old, you know, and you don't, you hear days fly really quick. But anyway, the system's going great. Uh, I'm not going to put any logs to it because with the online view, um, you know, you just can all go and see what's going on. And this video is already long enough. It's nine minutes plus a bit of video I took in the shed. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Um, we, we, like I say, we're celebrating our one year since we cut the cord. Um, I hope more of you do it. It's easy to do. And, and the payback time for Australians, because of our super high um, electricity prices, um, is very short indeed. Like I know some people that could put a system in and and they would, uh, it would be paid for, literally in saving the, what they save in power bills uh, in a year. That's right, one year their system would be paid for. Um, my system will take probably two and a half years to pay for itself uh, with the with, with the, um, pricing. And the good thing about it is, Next year, power is going up, I think, 16%, and gas is going up 13%, I think. Somebody text uh, messaged me in one of my videos. Guess what? Doesn't worry me. I don't care. Um, and you can be exactly like that too by putting a system in. Uh, just bite the bullet, put the system in. Even if it's a hybrid system, you're going to save a fortune. Instead of feeding the power to the grid, bank the power, okay? Put a small, smaller battery bank in if you're not going to go off grid. You don't need a thousand amp hour battery bank, you know. Use your solar during the day. It'll, it'll bank your excess power. Use your batteries until um, whatever time you program it, it automatically switch back to the grid. And you're going to save yourself a fortune, an absolute fortune. All right, Merry Christmas to everyone. Keep safe. Um, and yeah, we'll try and get another video up before Christmas. I might might get one up when my car arrives. Um, um, because it's in in like you know it's everything's got to be fitted to it it's that's a big job they've got to wait for the bull bar to get here the tow bar because it's a research to get here it's got to go in and have the windows tinted so they've got to make an appointment for that um yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty big job but um and that wouldn't have been possible if i was still paying for power by the way okay bye for now everyone keep safe